Okay, so the head section is ready to go. We now understand the importance of this WP head uh, function here, injected right above the closing head tag. We also need to add something to the foot of, footer of our site, kind of the bottom part of our website. So if I go back and look up WordPress theme development in Google, and I go to their Codex website, this is kind of their documentation website, and I search for footer, you'll see they've got a best practice recommendation here as well. So we basically, it's pretty simple. We just need to add this little line of code right above our closing body and closing HTML tags. So that's super easy. Let's head over there. And they're talking about adding it right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and inject it there. Just like that. And since this doesn't have any opening and closing tags, it's just one tag, I'm leaving it on the same level of indentation as this chunk right here. Okay, so this opening tag right here has its closing tag here. It's an if statement. This is the opening if, this is the closing if. And so this is just kind of on the same level right above this body tag. So I'm going to save this. Make sure your server is running. Mine is running, so I don't have to click that Run Project button. It's already running. And I'm going to go over to my website, close the inspector, and refresh. And there we go. Now we have this admin bar. We talked about this a few videos back. This is coming from this function right here. And the padding for it, the extra CSS that gave it the spacing, comes from the WP head function right there. Okay, so now we have a we have a web page here that's got a complete header and a complete footer. So we're making some good progress now and we are following best practices up to this point.